Hello everyone and welcome to CADCAM CE Tutorials. In this CREO Beginners video series, we are going to create a 3D component that you can see on the screen right now. After creating this component, we will render it also. So let's begin it. So first we will close here this render and we will exit the part. Now to create a new part, we will select here new and make sure that you select here part. Here you can specify the name of the component. So we will specify here exercise 9 as the part name and here we will uncheck use default templates because we want our own unit system and then we will click on ok now from this list we have to select unit system with which we want to work and for that we will select here solid part millimeter kg second and click on ok now this is the workspace to create our part now to create the part here we are having the dimensions now to create this component first we have to create the base feature so in this part we will create this as base feature and after creating the base feature we can create other features on it to create the base feature here we are having the dimensions and to create the base feature first we will insert one vertical center line after inserting the center line we will create this half sketch and then we will mirror it now we will go to the creo parametric and we'll go for sketch and select here this plane for sketching plane and ok now first we'll make here the normal view now first we'll insert one vertical center line and for that we'll select here center line and create one vertical center line like this now we have to create one sketch and for that we'll select here line and we'll create one sketch like this After creating this sketch, we have to apply the dimensions. So from here we can see that this horizontal line is of 30 mm, this vertical one is of 29, and we are going to mirror this sketch. The horizontal line will be half of 24, it will be 12, and for that we'll go for the creo parametric. This horizontal line is of 30 mm, this vertical one is of 29, and here this horizontal is of 12 mm. Now after applying the dimensions, we have to create another sketch. So from here we can see that we have to create same sketch like this. And for that also we will select here line and we will create one same sketch like this. Now after creating this sketch, we have to apply the dimensions between these two lines. And for that here we can see that these two lines is having distance of 10 mm. For these two lines, the distance is of 8 mm, and for these two lines, the distance is of 8 mm. So, here we will go for the dimensions to give the distance. Select here both these horizontal lines and press your scroll button. Now, this distance is of 10 mm. To apply the distance between these two lines, select here both these lines, press your scroll button, enter distance as 8 mm. For these two also, we will select here both these lines, press your scroll button, enter distance as 8 mm. So now this is our half sketch and we have to mirror it. To mirror it, we will exit the dimension. Now we will select here, enter sketch, we will go for the mirror and to mirror, we will select here the center line as a line of mirror. Now here we have to specify some dimensions. And for that, we will go for the dimensions. Now here, the distance of this line from this center line, that is 29. Now our sketch is fully defined, so we will go further. And for that, we will exit the sketch. We will go for the extrude. Now from here, we can see that we have to extrude it for 50 mm. So we will enter here 50 mm. Now to extrude it on both the side of the sketching plane, we will go for the options and here we will select symmetric and ok. Now we will create other features and from here we can see that we have to create one circle with a diameter of 30 mm and we have to extrude it for 30 mm. So we will go for the creo parametric, we will go for the sketch. And to sketch that, we will select here this upper face as a sketching plane. 
and select your sketch. Now we'll go for the normal view. To sketch your circle, we'll select your circle and we'll sketch one circle over here like this. Now the diameter of circle is of 30 mm, enter here 30. Now the distance of center of circle from this edge and due to symmetry, this distance will be half of 50. So this will be 25. Now our sketch is fully defined and we'll exit the sketch. Now we'll go for the extrude and we have to extrude it for 30 mm and click on OK. After creating this, we have to create this hollow feature and for that, the dimensions is of 14 mm dia and we have to make it hollow throughout. So we'll go for the parametric, we'll go for sketch and select the upper face sketch. Now we'll make it here normal. Now again we'll select here circle and we'll create one concentric circle over here like this. The diameter of circle is of 14 mm, so enter here 14. Now the sketch is fully defined, so we'll exit the sketch. Now for this time we'll go for the extrude and here we have to select remove material and we'll reverse the direction. Now from the options we'll select here through all, so it will extrude it for through all and click on OK. Now after creating this, we have to create the round feature over here that you can see and here the radius is of 2 mm. So we'll go for the creo parametric, select here round. For the round, we'll enter here radius as a 2 mm and then we'll, we have to select here both these edges and click on OK. Now after creating the rounds, we have to create here this rib kind of portion and this we can create by using the extrude or by using the rib. So we are going to create this feature by using the rib feature and to create the rib feature we will go for the creo parameter then we will go for the sketch and select here this plane as a sketching plane and sketch now we will make it here normal now to create a sketch we will select here line and we will create one line like this so this will be profile for the rib and we will exit the sketch now we will go for the rib and select here profile rib now first we have to reverse the direction of this arrow that indicates the material to be added from here we can see that the depth of this rib is of 8 mm so here we will enter here 8 mm and click on ok now we have to create the same rib on this side also and for that we will use the mirror so select here this profile rib then we will go for the mirror for the mirror plane we will select here this plane and ok now our component is ready and we are going to give it appearance so from here first we will uncheck all this then we will go for the view select here appearance and select here this red color now select the entire exercise and ok now to render it we will go for the applications we will select here render studio now we have to make background plain white so we will go for the scene edit scene in the edit scene we will select here background and select here color now by default the color is white color so we will close it after that we will go for the real time real time settings now here we will select ground illumination and click on ok now the part is completed i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video then please hit on the like button share it and subscribe to this channel cadcamc tutorials thanks